a quick little update on our mud crab. You guys are like, ah, water! But she looks good. Whoa, 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 wow! All right, slavers, we're back at it with another slave entry, and we're doing a quick little update on our mud crabs. I gotta show you guys how they're doing. So we're gonna drag them over here. Come on. Whew. Pretty heavy now. And I wanna show you guys what you gotta do once in a while to them. Let's go ahead and see how they're doing. All right. Let me get out of the shadow so you guys can see. I'll bring them into the light real quick. Hold on. And we're gonna check how they're doing. Kind of examine them real quick and see what's going on. All right, cool. Look pretty good, look pretty good. But before we examine them, I want to go ahead and congratulate the winner of the Hidden Sticker Challenge. Congratulations to you. You went ahead and found those hidden stickers and answered the questions at the end of the video correctly. Slayers, if you want to go ahead and be shouted out at the beginning of the next video, be sure to go ahead and find those hidden stickers as well as answer the questions which are found at the end of the video. For those who are missing those hidden stickers, worry not. Because not every video I'm going to ask about how many stickers are in the video and what colors are those stickers. Just be, just be paying attention. Look for those stickers, but be attentive as well because a lot of the questions are based on what is going on in the video. So today, like I'm saying, we're doing a mud crab update. Max, let her be. Shall I feed you to the mud crabs? You wanna get fed to the mud crabs? No. No, 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 Max. Max is my dear love, my parrot dog. So we might have to have him here today. He hates water and everything. Let's see what's going on over here. Our male, who is absolutely massive, is doing pretty good. So I actually end up losing my lobster gloves and i'm a little spooked because they're very big they're very big now they've grown a little bit whoa baby it's gonna be a little battle you know what let's go ahead and just squish this one. Oh my gosh all right you know what i think i got some gloves in the garage hold on well look what i found turns out lily was hiding them from me <laughs> i have no idea why i guess she just wanted me to get pinched Guys, in the comments below, in the next video that I post with the crabs, should we do a pinch test with Lily's fingers? Let me know. But for now, she gets to survive. Hooray. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is examine each and every mud crab that we have to make sure they're okay. So first of all, we have one right here that loves to bury himself or herself right deep in there. Let's get her out real quick. Hey, Mama Cita, what's cooking, good looking? But she looks good. Whoa, 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 wow! All right, easy. Andale, hold. So she has all of her appendages. She looks good. Everything looks pretty solid to me. All right, all right, all right, Mama Cita. We'll let you go back into your hole. As you can see, she loves to hide there. And based on the last video that I posted with them, you guys really wanted me to go ahead and talk about them again. So here we are. So we're gonna check these two. Oh, big man. Big man is crazy. Ah! All right. Thanks to these gloves, we're good. They're fighting. They're fighting good. And I don't want to put too much pressure to break any of their arms or legs. But this is a good sign because if they're fighting, that means they're doing good. And it looks like that leg is healing up and slowly growing. If you can zoom in right there, it looks like he's healing up and he's going to be growing those appendages soon. You see that little nub? Yeah. It's going to slowly grow back eventually once they molt. All right. We're going to check this one out. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice. Not so bad. All the eyes are there. Look at those eyes. That is insane. So, as you can see, everyone's doing pretty good. Pretty freaking good. Let's see what's going on over here. All right, Mama Cita. This one's missing all of her legs on this side, but she still has her claws. She's still purple. Still good and pretty. Oh. But all her legs are healing up from the time I guess she got wrangled or she got in a fight. I'm not sure what went down. But look, they're growing back, easy. She's holding her own. And this one, of course, big old claw. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna fight her too much to yank her out, but I win in this battle. Look at her, so aggressive. Angar, angar. <laughs> so everyone's good. So I'm gonna show you what I've been doing to make sure your crabs are A-okay. If you wanna keep lion crabs, mud crabs, 
whatever crabs, just not the crabs that are in your pants. So Slayers, what I've been doing lately is feeding them leafy green romaine. This is like almost like a Miralax. What do you call those things that allow you to flush out your own entire system? Laxative. Laxative, there you go. Thank you, Lily. I know you were good for something besides holding a beautiful camera and being beautiful and uh, yeah. Anyways, feed them the leafy greens, nice laxative, poops all the stuff out. Then you feed them good fruits, very good yummy fruits, sweet stuff like coconut, mango and everything like that. So they can go ahead and get nice and fat so they can be very, very tasty. I'm getting attached to these guys, but I still have food on my mind as you can see. So what we're gonna do is feed them these two. I've been doing this a lot lately, switching them with corn. And then once they're pooping a different color and stuff like that, then you can go ahead and start feeding them mango. Anyways, what I do is I feed them this in that nice clay bowl that I got and I do this as well. I go ahead and I choose a setting that's not gonna hurt them so much. As you can see like this, and I put some inside of their enclosure and I wet them. Get wet, my friends. Get wet. And I give them a nice little shower once in a while. And I also bathe them in the sun. Let them sun dry. Let them get some water. Now this is actually the water I use for them to go ahead and drink and be hydrated and everything. So I know you guys can't really see everything that's going on because of the shadows and the angles and everything like that, but they're getting soaked. This guy's like, ah, water. But I soak them to make sure that their gills are wet and everything like that, even though they also have lungs. They're very unique animals. So that's what I do once in a while when we're not having any rain around. But yeah, so there you go with that. They're nice and wet. Look at them drip. And they'll drink off their body as well. Let me get some clay pots. So I have my clay pots. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna lay a clay pot there and I'm gonna lay a clay pot right there. What I've been doing is filling it up with water. Mm. On a better setting, fill it up nice and whole. Every day I do this. I just how I you soak your turtles and tortoises, I soak my land crabs. So they have nice, fresh, clean water. And that sits there and that turns actually pretty brown. They go in there, bathe, poop, the whole nine yards. So I'll wet them up. Don't fight me. Take your water. That's right, look. Look at this guy, look at this guy. I don't know if you can see, but look at his mouth. You see? Oh yeah. He was drinking and everything like that. You see the bubbles that are coming out of his mouth? He's drinking, absorbing that water, absorbing that nutrients to be healthy and hydrated. So what I do also with woo, my beautiful clay pots is I lay in one here and I lay another over here. So I have my leafy green romaines and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is lay some out for them. Just regular cuts, just lay them right there. I don't put too much because I wanna make sure they're eating. If there's a lot of leaves and they're still all there, I don't see that they're eating. But if I can see that a lot of the leaves are missing, therefore I know that they're eating. So another thing I'm gonna add today are some fruits. As you can see right here, look at those bubbles. Look at that, it's like a little kid trying to blow bubbles. But she's hydrated, she's getting that water, drinking it up. Listen. You hear what they're saying? They're saying, subscribe. So what we have here are some freshly cut strawberries, yes. So I'm now going to incorporate some nice sweet foods into their diet because it's time to go ahead and get them all fat and yummy, like me. So come check it out. We're gonna go ahead and just spread these around and they'll find their way. They'll find their way right here. I mean, I can pick them up and put it on it, but right now they're spooked because I've been handling them. And I've been trying to get them comfortable to me, but they're not gonna get comfortable. They're usually always pinching me. Like I have a little bruise here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh. From, from last time I dealt with them, but it's all right. And on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and add some right here. There's some bigger crabs here, so they're, they get the bigger strawberries. But uh, it's a nice little assortment right here, and it's good for them. I'm gonna do one more last thing. i get this out of here. I'm gonna spray them one more time. You guys wanna get sprayed? No. You sure? We'll pass. You sure? Ah, we'll pass. Okay, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. All right, so, we got some water. Ah, bad idea, I sprayed all over myself. And we're gonna spray them. They're running away from me. Let's get a little lighter on them. That's right, hydrate, hydrate my child. Hydrate, let me hydrate. We're gonna do it over here, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So I let them sit here and hydrate for about 30 minutes, give or take. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
and then I put them back in the shade so they don't bake. It's a black container. It gets a lot of sun and it gets really, really, really hot. I chose to have a black container so just in case it rains and there's a lot of water that's in here, it can evaporate quickly and there's a lot of humidity in here keeping them nice and warm. But again, they're not baking, not yet at least. As you can see, they're blowing bubbles, they're hydrating, they're doing good. That means they're nice, happy and healthy. And talk about happy and healthy, my, bob, my little puppy's getting a little thirsty. Better get you some water. But Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's like a little update on my land crabs. If you want to go ahead and join the family, subscribe. What are you doing? You're missing out. There's a whole bunch of stuff. These could all be your pets. Only if you subscribe and join the Slayer family. Now guys, it's time to go ahead and answer the three questions to be shouted out at the beginning of the next video. Question number one. How many crabs do I have in my beautiful mud crab enclosures? Question number two. What color is the male crab? And question number three, Slayers, what are the foods that I just fed them today in this video? And with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next Slay Venture. Booyah.